Okay, should be good to go. Now, um... I didn't even bother really looking at this. I guess they recently, uh... I don't know. This must be new. But, um... Oh, we got Trials of Reckoning coming up, so I guess that's something. More story mode. Spire of Lightning. Oh gosh, we'll just look at all that crap later. So Addison, Stern's getting his, kill phase getting hers, finally. That's cool. Um, okay, so Kreis, or Kreis, whatever the fuck her name is, Lilith's getting hers as well. Interesting. I did not check out the stream. I usually don't really give a damn. But it looks like they're going to add a new job, a performer. And it's interesting, like, to me. Oh, gosh, I don't even have it, like, on the...
いいね。
いいね。
continue forth, no matter what may come. I'm with you. I'm glad you waste no time. Darkness Let's get is my darkness strength. Sharpens my blade. I must do it is my turn. Ravages. For a fresh start. What to do? History. I will fight until the very end. Thank you. I can work here. With all my strength. to our next battle. I'm glad you will no take time. down Why this do we have evil? to fight so many enemies? Don't oh, yes, me now. Darkness is my destruction. Sharpens my blade. Ready to fight? Here! <laughs> This will end it. It's over. I can work here. Don't give up on me now. Oh, <laughs>
Forgive those who make Let's others go, partner. Let's 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 go, partner.
need for chit chat. Here I come, faster. Thank you. I cannot let you leave here alive. Leave this to me. You shall not fail. Let great me help. help. You. I guess this works. Henka says, Kakiru. Tatami Kakiru. Okay, had to make sure that that shit's actually picking up my, uh, voice. No, don't do all that there, buddy. I'll just leave it like that.
<laughs> How's it going, kitty? How are you feeling about the Addison Ray stuff now that everything's pretty much, I guess, like out in the open? Because I would definitely have to say my first impression is um, a little surprised if they made her a light unit. You thought she was going to be water? It seemed like everybody thought she was going to be fire. I didn't know what the hell she was going to be. I just don't like that they made her a cost 100. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking she was going to be like low cost. I was definitely thinking that. It would have been nice, but yeah, another cost 100. But yeah, we have definitely been getting a lot of cost 100s here lately. Not even including um, the guy we just got. It's just a lot going on. So she's going to be expensive to build, I would imagine. So since I didn't watch like the stream, did they say anything about her like being in the general pool? Like is like her unit just going to like permanently be in the game or... Is this one of those cost limited situations where it's like build her up now or wait for a rerun? Because I'll probably like treat her like every other unit that um, they give away for free. Just uh, finish her challenge board and just be done with it. I'm definitely not going for her card if I have to pay for it. Or, um, well, not pay for it, but if I have to like summon for it, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. No, I know she's going to be a free unit. I'm talking about the card. Uh, we'll have to see her full kit on Wednesday. I mean, it's safe to assume. Cause I, like I said, I know she had, like, what, Blade Soul and then um, Red Mage. Oh, it's on a summon? Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> I would have to say if, like, I were a newer player, or maybe, like, um, you know, it mattered enough to me, I would definitely promote to go for the card if you want to use her, and she's going to be, like, you know, like, your first unit or, like, you know, on your main roster or whatever. I would definitely have to say go for it. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of multi here in a second. Uh, Yeah, that's it. Just trying to play catch up on this crap. I had to go through the whole story off stream, which was annoying as hell. Actually, I had to go through two stories because I didn't do anything for um, Rugia either. So I couldn't even get access to this stuff. So I definitely have to do a better job of just... Um, 
keeping the um, another story up to date. When they actually release something I can like use. I don't know what that necklace even does, so I'll have to try and look into that. First impression to me is she's a Sephiroth counter because of the reaction block rate. Yeah, being able to lower reaction block rate. Um, what else can she do? She has, you know, the whole protect thing. Uh, she can give herself a physical barrier. So, yeah, I could definitely see that. Gosh, hopefully fire can fucking get through this. Mm, I'm gonna have to manually do this. For fire. I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, want to bring a companion, honestly. Because I'm really trying to get resonance up. So, like I said, if you see any lower rarity units, anything like that, it's uh, strictly for resonance. Just in case I may need a cost limited team put together or something like that. Uh, I may want to pick up somebody's Yuffie. But yeah, I'm going to have to manually do this. If she has more defenses. I mean, like, realistically thinking, you can just put her alongside uh, Warrior of Light and just um, build a team strictly for Dark Resist. Yeah, <laughs> I can definitely see that happening. Okay, come over here, Yuffie. Um, I don't know how to fucking use you. I think it's Wutai Dash I'm looking for. Yes, it is. Have you sit there. I need you to go into Proclamation and get the fuck away from everybody. Move over here. I fucking hate her voice. You can sit here. Move over here. I need you to use fast cast on. Okay, can't reach you. Oh, fuck me. Guess you can just use it on Terra. Sit here. I need you to go into your AP restoration. And, um. To sit here. What am I thinking? It depends on how evasive you are. But I feel pretty safe throwing you out here. Gosh, damn it. Okay, they're all moving over there anyway. But yeah, I definitely need to try and keep Mont alive without his uh, shit proccing. We can throw in your region. I think it's Serenity. Yes, it is. Just move you up. I'd feel a lot better if you had Courage on. That'll give you some more AP. And, uh, we'll move you up. Should be good here in a second. Yeah, there's no point in you attacking. Just fast cast. Uh, damn it. Still can't reach Mont. Need to move you over. I just don't want you to die immediately. That'll do. Okay, we should be good to go.
I'm gonna have to use proclamation again here in a second. Okay. Um, her EX or 140. I don't know. Justin says she can buff teammates to nullify 100% hit when HP is 20% or something. Ooh, that's interesting. I think I go right into proclamation. Okay, let's move you this way. The Q and A was a freaking waste of time. Like I said, man, I didn't I didn't check out the stream, so I, I really wouldn't know. What made it a uh, waste of time? So she made Wingstern a monster against Seth, Elena, and Locke, too. Uh, said something like, it's exhausting to see the recent release of only 100 cost units. And the answer is like, yeah, we will still release more 100 cost units and there are ongoing improvements, blah, blah, blah. It'd be like that sometimes. Okay, I think the worst is over because, yeah, Fire was uh, not having a fun time on that. But, no, I expect him to, you know, definitely, you know, drop 100 costs like crazy. But, like, personally to me, that's not, like, the issue. That's something else I kind of wanted to look at. I didn't like, I just like glanced over the notice board. I saw something about some kind of lightning something. I don't know if it's like a new game mode or something, but like I said, that's, <laughs> that's the issue, man. Like I said, um, it just gets old throwing the units at each other. I want to see, like I said, definitely uh, more PVE things and something that's like resettable. Like I said, that's the main issue with this game is that there's no like constant way of getting rewards because even with the uh, legendary rare aquaries one like i said it's just the one and done once you beat it that's i mean it's like you can collect the weapons over and over again so that to me definitely like i said gets old because it's like you're probably going to struggle with it maybe like a few times after that. You're like more or less you're going to beat that shit like within the same week that it releases. And that's it. And it's just going to be like a game mode that just kind of sits there. So in my opinion, it's a waste of uh, resources. Because if that was truly the case, I would have preferred for it to be limited and um, if you beat it, you beat it. If you don't, you know, wait for it to uh, rerun or something like that. I'm grateful that it's not limited or anything like that. But I can, like I said, you know, when I say that, I'm speaking from like my personal experience. I didn't like struggle with it for like the whole week and then just, you know, pretty much say fuck it or, you know, whatever the situation was. So I know that there are definitely going to be people who are going to struggle with it. So in that instant, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that it's something that's consistent in the game because i can definitely see you know if you don't have the units or like a proper you know two teams uh 120 and maybe like you know some reincarnations or something like that yeah it, it could be a bitch for sure but like i said the majority of it is i mean like you have to have the units for damn sure but um it's really just paying attention to like i said just where you're like wasting time to make uh, the Thunder Ring a plus one version. Well, I don't even have the Thunder Ring built up, so. Well, I don't think. I might have that one built up. I don't know. Because, like, when Porcelain Tower comes around, I just beat it once and I'm fucking done with it. I don't really want to farm it multiple fucking times. Let me see something.
Uh, probably just more resistances. I don't know if it's going to be like a stat buff or anything to like the damage and all the other crap. But yeah, probably just more resistances. Maybe something exclusive to lightning units. Not like it would really matter because only lightning units can even use the ring. Oh, that's misfortunate. Fucking cats are going ape shit in my room. Oh my gosh. Uh, you said it's not significant for me to remember. If anything is significant, I mentioned in the pr uh, prediction video. So I guess, like, obviously JP already got this. I just hope the rewards are fucking decent, but... I mean, if it's just gonna be Porcelain Tower, then... It's going to be like a lot of rinse repeat. Um, going back and just finishing up stuff that you probably didn't finish the first time around. That's what I was thinking, Bows. Just more resistances. Maybe they'll add like a couple more things like confusion or maybe a nullification. I don't, I really don't know. But I don't really see them buffing the amount of magic and attack that are on it. Unless it's like through some kind of like physical damage or, you know, like I said, on the um, the effect or the uh, bonus that you get. <laughs> That's uh, creepy. Okay. Anyways, uh, the elemental—I mean, the, the element only uh, worth mentioning is the umbral armlet. The uh, dark armlet, I would imagine. Damn, you couldn't hit anybody. That's wild. Kilfe, I would prefer you did not go up there. Oh, don't have a choice now. Gotta love it. But I figured you wouldn't use Taunting Blade or Taunting Spell, so let's go ahead and uh, do that for you. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Honestly, I'm treating them like fire. Earth may not even have a issue with this.
I need to hurry up and fucking cover uh, Bradley while it's still, I guess, like this week. <laughs> Do a 140 um, coverage of him. I think it's kind of fucking straightforward. Similar to Sephiroth. But hopefully people um, at least watch that uh, the one I did over Celis. I'm sorry, I had to stretch. Because uh, that information at the end is definitely pretty important for people who are like not 100% on the whole reincarnation system and like what they need to be doing because it's going to be extremely fucking important especially um with them just dropping units outright with uh their 140s and then going back and um double tapping some of the other units and then on top of that we still have the uh I think like the pixel update or whatever the hell that was whenever they finally Go back and touch up on um, Final Fantasy 13 and 10 and all those other ones that they previously missed out on. Because there's going to be a lot of units that get their 140 on that update. So yeah, like I said, it's going to be super important to start hyper-focusing or having a general idea of who it is that you want to try and go for. But yeah, like I said, they just need to... Really, just like I said, add some fucking game modes where we can farm some of these materials a little bit more consistently. I don't really give a fuck about the mind sphere thing. That's, I mean, it sucks. Like, if you're not trying to build up general pool characters or you don't have like everybody in like a specific collab, I think that definitely can be kind of annoying. But yeah, it's going to be extremely important. Yeah, he's one of my favorites as well, for sure. I'm definitely going to 140 him regardless if it's good or not. Yeah, Orin is uh, definitely a badass. But more or less, I'm going to take Yuna as well, because Yuna's... That's my girl. And Lightning. This, I mean, that, that update's going to have a lot of good shit. Noctis, if... Um, have the means to do so it's just going to kind of be a bitch because i don't have rna and i don't have prompto or prompt whatever the fuck his name is i don't have him built up so if anything he's probably going to be like low on the totem pole but lightning's going to be extremely important because i use her like crazy and she's like i said probably one of my favorite units in this game her violet Just those specific units. But yeah, Yuna definitely is going to get hers regardless if it's good or not. I just want to make them as useful as possible. Awesome. That means I don't have to worry about that. Because I was not paying attention to anything. Yeah, if you have a uh, lightning built correctly, she's definitely a fucking monster. I'm trying to get her up with uh, Brachiosaurus as we speak. But yeah, she's a problem. Do we know anything about... Um, I'm sure I could probably look it up on World of Calc. And if you guys don't know anything about it, I'll probably have to anyway. But about... Um, I don't know if it was like Master... Coral or the new Coral card, I would imagine, is going to come with an Esper. Like, what's on there? Is that um, going to be missile damage? Is it going to be like an evasive one? Slash. Hi from Thailand, just here. Uh, who do you think could be other two units pairing with Ray? 
uh to be completely honest it really depends on like i said what she, what else she has in her kit how uh, defensive she can make herself because if she can be somewhat like even you know with her getting that physical barrier is it going to be enough to make her like a bruiser so i think that's really going to matter but yeah like i said we're, we're really going to have to see what's in her kit but just like off of assumptions from what i've seen so far with her having red mage blade soul and stuff like that she's probably going to be like um like a support DPS. And I could see her definitely working with um Probably, I don't know. Like I said, it, it just depends on how tanky she is. She, she she may be somebody who uh relies on um running with Warrior of Light to be completely honest. Cuz I don't know if she's going to have means of re-raise or just like giving herself some survivability. She may need another support. She may need a healer. But, like I said, as long as um, you have a tanky enough Warrior of Light, build her, like, you know, as much dark resistance as you can possibly give her. We'll have to see. Because it doesn't look like she's going to have any evasion support or any kind of, like, evasion, like, natively in her kit. Just from, like I said, from the outside, I'm just doing a lot of assumption. I, I don't know. But if that's the case, then she's probably not going to fare too well with evasion. Unless she's dealing, like, an ass load of damage and has like a lot of good range you're just gonna go mono light that's something else with her um her main job like i said it, even though it's like performer i think it's still gonna be like a glove based um sub job or uh, not sub job main job so you could probably put her with um, Alphonse, Alphonse, Perrine, Alphonse, and um, some other puncher. But I feel like she's going to need a tank. <laughs> that protect would probably, you know, fare well with uh, somebody who can't, you know, outright give themselves that. Or maybe they, you know, you want them to go into something else. And I think Alphonse has like a barrier that he can give himself. So if she can move to him, give him a barrier. I mean, not a barrier. Uh, give him that protect. Give herself that barrier. She may be like, like slightly tanky enough to like maybe take like AOE damage. Like, you know, um, just not be like the main focus or like the main um, recipient of the damage. Because having protect in a barrier can be extremely useful. Give her fucking Ryra use TMR or something. I don't know. And something else, like I said, I don't know if she's going to have a light in peril. There's just certain things that I think are going to be really important to kind of um, know about the character outright before, like, I can really, like, try and put together a team. How the fuck are you still alive, my friend? That's crazy. I'm surprised you tanked that. But yeah, like I said, also depending on her range, I think is going to be something else that's going to be important because you could run her with, um, what's his name? Fucking, uh, Jaden. If she can follow up, because Jaden can... Like I said, as long as he's not going up against a Celis, can deal a lot of damage. So if she can follow up or maybe like set him up, because she, like I said, she's going to have some chaining attacks. That could be a pretty scary team. They could probably kill you before you could even get close to them. So kind of like a um, Wingstern, Starlight Elena setup and just have them be like close enough to each other.
Oh yeah, she's she's gonna be rocking it uh, for sure with uh, PVE guild raid definitely. And Blade Soul, like I said, just depends on what's in there because I know Blade Soul does have like a uh, imperil, but it just depends on if they give it to her. And she may have like I said that two hit attack. But if Blade Soul ends up sucking, like I said, Red Mage, it's hard to fuck up Red Mage. Red Mage outright usually has a lot of good stuff. Uh, means of giving haste, unit attack resistance. Um, jamming thrust is always a problem. And it would probably help her go up against, like, sub magic. As long as they don't have, like, instant cast attacks and stuff. There we go, and I'm just skipping the rest of it. So I just need like what two more. But I will definitely try and uh live stream the update for sure. So uh if things go according to plan, now I need to go to multi. I'll try to drop the Bradley video. Maybe I'll probably like work on it tonight. I need to see what the hell that thing does. Go to equipment for a second. But yeah, I'll drop that um, Bradley video tomorrow. Because I'm sure like people have them. But from what I've seen, like I said, a lot of people have them at 89. So I can probably go into uh, breaking them down. You know, the whole is he worth it ordeal. And, um, like I said, that'll be Tuesday's video and just kind of, like, wait it out until, uh, reset. I was like, why the hell am I here? I need to find that necklace. What does this do? Acquired AP, reaction block rate, AOE resist. Basically for the, uh, Warriors of the Crystal. But probably, uh, well, nah, I mean, anybody could really use this. Spirit defense. But that is a barrier build. Uh I mean that's not bad. I might want to farm that later. What was the other thing? It was like the axe. Like I said, I'm playing catch up with a lot of this another story stuff, so like I said, I don't know what some of this equipment does this is level based right so it's gonna be all the way down here somewhere there it is slash lightning attack okay nobody can use that <laughs> so definitely no point in farming that i think i should be good as far as like crafting uh the rest of this crap Yeah, she must be asleep. Um, let's see. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a Kefka's weapon. Or whatever the fuck that equipment is. Maybe it's not a weapon. What is the inspiration behind the name Divine Mew? 
Um, the name initially came from um, playing Halo. Like whenever, I think like Halo Reach and then Halo 4 dropped. I like came up with the name Mew Rises. And like I was, I was actually pretty good at the game. I, I was uh, ranked number one in the state that I previously lived in. Um, and I, like I said, it was just like really good with the, at the game or whatever. And I ran across some other people and, you know, they were changing their name, uh, Zapdos Rises, you know, blah, 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 that whole, you know, shtick. And, um, eventually, like I said, Halo kind of, um, kind of sucks now. So I ended up dropping the name, but I wanted to keep like the name Mew because Mew has like always been my favorite Pokemon and uh, still is definitely but I wanted something that sounded obviously you know just a it had like a better ring to it Mew Rises was like okay but I wanted something that sounded like just a little bit more um, powerful or something like that and so I just like I said I just uh, was like thinking of things that just went well with Mew and Mew being you know what Mew is a legend you know legendary Pokemon at the time it was like you know supposed to be like the first Pokemon ever but we saw how that ended up going so like I said I just was thinking of things like um, I just I don't know went well with it and Divine just sounded like proper it wasn't anything of like like I don't know because some people were like. <laughs> kind of got offended by it like I don't know if they were like super religious or something like that it was never meant to be like oh I'm like I'm divine or I'm you know better but I mean divinity is nothing but good anyway it doesn't mean like holy or godly or anything like that it's just like good so divine you just I don't know it sounded good to me I fucking like completely like spaced out on what the hell I was even looking for I love Gyarados. Gyarados is like definitely one of my favorites. Dragonite. I like Dragon type Pokemon. <laughs> I guess it Charizard. All that. But Mew, like I said, just um, had a playful nature. I uh, didn't take too uh, anything too seriously. Like to joke around. But still had like good intent. So to me, like I said, Mew, I feel like just matches my personality. That's how I am. I don't take anything too seriously. I don't take anything to heart. And uh, I like to laugh. I like to joke around, but not like at the expense of other people. I don't think that shit's cool. You know, not like any kind of bully shit or maybe somebody made a mistake and like, you know, people hold that against them. That's not my kind of personality. I like uh, to be in a room where everybody's having fun. So, yeah, like I said, Mew's definitely one of my favorites by far. There it is. Gosh, damn took me like five years to find it okay so we're good on that i don't plan on building it but well, as long as we have it i know i have all the swords and daggers that i need from uh this collab currently so i think i want to farm that necklace but i'll do that later right now i just need to go to multi and uh get these missions done before they start stacking up on me like crazy Uh, the EX, and then what is this? So another story, scene three, and scene four. Gotcha. But yeah, like I said, some, I don't know. Like I said, some people just take it the wrong way. I, I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't think, you know, anything arrogant, nothing like that. It's just, like I said, I just thought it was like, a, you know, a really nice sounding name. Because I've definitely been attacked about that. You're not this. You're not. I'm like, um, <laughs> I never said I was. It's just a name. Calm down. But yeah, that's pretty much the inspiration from it. And I think I'm probably better off using um, Queen Mosherie for this. But yeah, like I said, at the end of the day, it all derives from fucking playing Halo. 
which sucks, man. I really wish I would have started YouTube whenever Halo was actually like still good, because that would give me something I can consistently like play and stream. Because, uh, like I said, War of the Visions is definitely fun to stream and, uh, you know, make uh, videos about. But when it's like, you know, downtime and there's nothing really going on, it's kind of difficult. You know, that's definitely another reason why I brought Final Fantasy or, uh, you know, I try to dabble with Outer Plane ever so often. But Halo would have been just consistent. I promise you I was so I was so dirty at that game. <laughs> I was so dirty at that game. Uh, I would ninja people fucking just uh no scope snipe uh double kill headshots like i would just be doing the craziest shit and um a lot of that is tied to my mew rises account like my divine mew account is still like really good yeah i have like a three point kd but yeah that would have been i, I would have loved that so much crap i didn't even think about it this is the easier one uh i'm about to disband this sorry it would just take too long. No, it was scene three. I think. Oh, God. Now I'm confused. Was I even on the right one? No, nah, because I can beat this by myself. I'd rather not go through the motions. I wasn't even thinking about that. But like I said, at the end of the day, there's still things like Starfield that I might try to bring to the channel. I just need something else like, you know, once Final Fantasy VII's done. I do want to do Crisis Core uh, when I can. Uh, I got some other stuff I definitely want to bring to the channel. I don't know how well it's going to do. But um, yeah, I definitely have some other games I you know, want to try and... Uh, ring just have like just that one mainstream console i guess oriented uh game whether it's on steam or xbox or whatever the situation is and just kind of juggle that while i'm doing what if stuff and you know everything else but yeah like i said halo sucks so i, I cannot bring that to the channel i just wouldn't be having fun it's just not like it used to the maps aren't like they used to I don't know why they don't bring, like, the original maps from Halo. Obviously, Halo 3 maps are just, like, outright the best. I think a lot of people like some of the um, just previous maps. And it just doesn't play right. Like, they've changed so much about it. The clambering um, makes it easier for, you know, people who are not, like, well-versed in Halo to just manipulate the map in a way that they're not, they shouldn't be able to, pretty much. Like, you had to learn how to properly crouch jump and... I'm pretty sure the game just crashed on me. <laughs> yeah, it did. Gotta love it. But yeah, they made it too noob friendly. And then the whole like sliding shit, it feels like I'm playing fucking uh, Call of Duty or something. I don't know. And it's nothing against Call of Duty for sure. Um, definitely not. Like I said, Call of Duty, I think is uh, fun in its own right. I don't fucking play it, but... I know it's a good game for sure. They've stayed true to like the core of what it is. I mean, I don't know. I, I, don't let me lie. I, I haven't played that shit since like Modern Warfare 3. But um, yeah, no, Halo's changed so much. It's not even fun anymore. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's fine. I don't even know why I even bothered doing that. I was the only one in the room, so I would imagine it would have crashed. Or just um discontinued. But yeah, definitely looking for like that next like big titled game that I can like kind of like get into. So if Starfield's good, I'll definitely mess with that. I don't know how I feel about um Elden Ring and stuff. Like I said, some of these games are just like a little bit older. Uh, same thing with Final Fantasy VII. Like I didn't think like it was like two years old, <laughs> but it's it's more so a thing of like exposure. Definitely exposure. Trying to um, get.
get as many different people. And like I said, at the same time, another reason why I, uh, I feel like I, oh fuck, I forgot to make it private. I uh, dabble with, like I said, games outside of Wotiv is like, it's honestly like free promotion for War of Divisions because I've had people come from like different, some of the different games that I've played, uh, whether it was Neo or, you know, whatever. And they'll be like, oh, well, you know, what, what, what game is this? Or what, you know, what is uh, this app that you're playing and stuff? Or, they're, you know, just outright new to the game. So it's just good for exposure for the game as well. Trying to just bring it to like a different audience. Oh god, how many times do I have to beat this shit? <laughs> I shall stop you. And she's a wind unit, so probably I don't want to bring Earth here, now that I think about it. Especially on the Are you with me? more difficult one. Oh, I gotta beat this crap like four more times. Might want to use Zavellus. Ooh, Bellis, what the hell do you have affinity with? I don't remember. All right, we can do that. Instead of having to go back and forth with what uh, is on Queen Mashiri. Shiva. I want to drop that as well. Honestly, probably not. Because I still need to finish Freezies. But no, here's the question to you guys like who are watching. Are you going to build her up? Because at least like how I feel about it right now, I'm just probably going to definitely um, finish the challenge board for her since she's going to be free anyway. I mean, why not? But I, I don't know. Like I said, it really depends on how accessible her um, shards are. She may not even really be worth, um, I think, dabbling with if you're not just going to outright try and finish her. Especially if she's not going to be in the general pool. And it's just going to be something that, you know, just comes and goes. Because I would imagine they're probably going to rerun it. If it's not a general pool thing. I would have preferred it to be that way for sure. Just because it's like, it's so weird. And I feel like, um... A lot of people would, you know, have this definitely just be like a one and done kind of thing. Just like let her, you know, come into the game, stay in the game, and just like let's move on to uh, Final Fantasy V <laughs> or something new. I'm still waiting for Nier to rerun, to be completely honest. I don't even know if that's going to even happen. I mean, you would think it has to with the reincarnation system. But unlike the previous ones, they would have to bring a new unit. Like A2 or something like that. But I just don't really see them just bringing back uh, 9S and 2B and that's it. That would be kind of lame. So 
ankle hurts. Or maybe like one of those villainous units that you had to fight. I don't know if it was like, I don't think it was Trials of Reckoning. I don't know what that was. Because they like reflexed like fucking crazy. But yeah, they, they need to bring something new. Especially since it's been so long since it's even been in the game. Because I would have thought they would have re-ran it like at least before uh, the reincarnation system was even implemented. What was that? This will hurt. Gotcha. Try this on. Hopefully that was the last one, my gosh. Or did I go past it? First one I cleared with Queen Mashery. One, two, three. I think I need one more. God forbid, two more. Try this on. Gotcha. Is it finally over? I thought we'd never be done. Nope, that was it. Okay. I guess I don't know. It looks like uh, you guys don't really have an opinion about it. But no, I guess I have pretty much shared mine. I'm just going to do the challenge board, be done with it. If I, you know, like for the rewards and all that other crap. If it's easy to build her up, I guess I will. But it's not going to be that big of a deal. At the end of the day, I don't need her. But she still looks like she's going to be decent. So if forever does build her up, more power to you. Hopefully you uh, enjoy the hell out of her. from the outside looking in like i guess like from the uh devs perspective it would probably be probably blah blah blah, blah 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 it would probably be wise to like make her a general pool character that way you could um dance off of that performer thing a little bit more i don't know why they didn't make it like its own thing like just add another job instead of it relying on like 
I guess like, you know, uh, it being like a striker thing or like um, Energis uh, kind of thing. And it could have been more support oriented and like, I guess like maybe like, you know, some pure magic, kind of like how they did Aerith. They did her dirty as fuck. Because the majority of her kit is just uh, support, um, self buffs, ally buffs, re rays, all that other crap. And if you want to make her like mainly in attacking, or you want to go more into like attacks, like you have to use um, whatever the fuck that other job is. I forgot. With um, not time mage. Gosh, I cannot even think. But the other job, pretty much, like I said, for her to have more, like, you know, slashing attacks or uh, drainy vocation and stuff, they could have done the same thing. But like I said, um, for that to be a different job and they could just add in, um, I guess if they wanted, I don't know if they're going to do anything else with like celebrities or something like that. But like I said, Final Fantasy X-2, Yuna could definitely have that same kind of setup because that's the only thing that I really saw when I saw Performer, I was like Final Fantasy X-2, Yuna please like <laughs> please do final fantasy 10 too because i will i will definitely try and summon for every fucking thing on that banner riku fucking pain that's it actually yeah that's it that's the only thing i would care about definitely pain before anybody and then riku and hopefully pain is like a dark unit riku could be lightning or wind i could see either or nah, i don't think they would do fire yeah probably lightning or wind oh god it's gonna be one of these situations all right let me see something Oh, well, there's that. <laughs> you switched for no reason. You said for building Addy, I'm probably going to make her useful enough to be a part of a TOR team. Yeah, for sure, for that bonus. Death Gaze is weak to magic and slow. My man's brought out Miranda. But yeah, that's why I was saying I was just going to do the challenge board. Get her to like 89 or, you know, whatever I get her to and just um, have her kind of just chill. But no, I feel the exact same way. I just don't feel like she's going to... If I didn't have, like, as many light units as I do, and then on top of that, I still need to work on Wing Stern, I highly doubt she's going to be better. I don't know. Don't let me fuck. I'm not assuming anything until I see her kid. But I don't think she's going to be better than him. But I could be mistaken. Because that 100 cost label comes with a lot of uh, expectations. Because I think like the weakest, at this point, I, I would have to say the weakest 100 cost is probably out of anybody. Oh, never mind. I, for I forgot he, uh, Thang Cred is 100 cost. He's still probably the weakest. And I doubt she's not going to be better than him. <laughs> hmm. 
Yours is not set to auto? Oh, that's weird. I was like, I enabled it. You got re-raise removal. You got plenty of it. Fucking six casts of it. <laughs> that shit is still funny to me. She's got so much re-raise removal. It's ridiculous. And it would make more sense if it wasn't like an AOE thing. Oh, God. I forgot to stop like a one open slot. But yeah, just go to your battle settings and just turn it on there. I think you can do that. But yeah, Thancred needs a fucking hookup, man. That dude is, especially for it to like have already been a second rerun. That dude is fucking pathetic. So maybe his reincarnation will, like, give him, like, some life or something. I don't know. Still good. Like I said, I guess, like, you know, for uh, different means of damage. Uh, he has his own card that he can get a lot of benefits from. But it's just not enough. And hopefully with her being a free unit, maybe they'll treat her like, um, no, nah, they're probably going to treat her like fucking, um, what's his name? Uh, Titus and freaking, um, locking them. And it's just like, oh, here's a free unit, but, uh, good luck trying to fucking cap her out. I don't see why they wouldn't do it like that. Because, personally, I would like them to treat her like uh, the free MRs that they give us. Just give her a stage where we can farm. Like Lucio, pretty much. Give us a stage where we can just, you know, farm their stuff. That'd be pretty dope. Yeah, Miranda's perfect for this. Or with just anybody with re-raise removal. Okay, he's going to take his time. Now's a good time to actually look at some of these people's TMRs. What are you rocking? Sleep resist, missile resist, spirit pin, disable resist, dark attack. It's not even complete. Charm resist, spirit debuff resist, magic, accuracy, evasion. 
agility, evasion. So like a luck, uh, agility set, slow resist, acquired AP activation time. This is pretty good. Reaction block rate, magic attack up. Omni, you're getting kicked, bro. Mm. We'll wait like a couple of seconds. I will kind of want to see if we can get somebody else in here. If not, I think we'll still be fine. Took your time, huh? I was about to start it too. And little Leela is, like I said, still pretty good. I don't know why um, he doesn't have like a complete set on her. That's a weird ass TMR, honestly, to give her. Maybe I'm mistaken. That I may be confusing that because I think that's uh. I don't know. I'd have to look at it again. But just from looking at it, I thought that was Summer um, Elsie's TMR, which is like a healing TMR. I don't know how useful that would really be on her. It'd be different if it was like a set percentage heal, but uh, yeah. And now our fucking rotation's all fucked up. <laughs> it was working perfectly previously. This is like the last one anyway, and then we're going to move on to something else. The Amulet of Light gives acquired AP 25 for the wearer and exclusive to Warriors of the Crystal. Oh, yeah, I already saw it. It'd be pretty good for Lucio if you just don't want him to outright go into... Um, bells and stuff you just want him to just you know go into his barrier and uh more so his kit than anything i mean like i said at the same time it'd be good for um like i said any unit that you just don't want to give bells to so i can definitely see Joom using it um What's her name? Fucking, uh... Perrine already has, like, means of giving herself AP, so I don't really feel like it's that big of a deal. Yeah, we just did scene three, so I need to do scene four. And just hope that fucking Sephiroth can just blast through this shit really fast. But no, it looks pretty good. It looks like um, the best piece of equipment you can really get. Like, that's just, like, not outright for, you know, a specific character. not okay at least he moved i was like fuck me
Not bad. It didn't take too long. Yeah, Strace as well. Yeah, for sure. That was somebody else I was thinking about. I just couldn't even put my tongue on it because there was so much. Because I think Rugia can... I don't know if Rugia can give himself AP Restoration. I don't even have the character. But yeah, Strace for sure. That would be pretty good. The only issue behind that is, like I said, it's... You're definitely going to want accuracy. Like... I don't know if you can make an aim version of it. But yeah, water needs accuracy more than any fucking thing else. Because you need to be able to... If not, like I said, you're going to have to, like, you know, play the survival game with, um... Yuffie. So, I would feel like, um, if he used that on him, you'd probably have to build another character for that. He said, no, vital defense and barrier. Yeah, I figured as much. I would definitely build, like, a barrier version first. Well, no, you could, you could go with spirit, but you're probably better off going for, uh, the barrier. Just because that's where fire is right now. But yeah, the, I said barrier, shield, <laughs> build a shield version um, to deal with fire for right now. Like I said, I, I would definitely build two of them though. And um, if you're using Perrine, probably like have her run with accuracy. But that was another reason why I was kind of talking about some of the um, the uh, dark espers or whatever, because there's not really a lot of strike espers. There's a lot of fucking just slash and uh, just like pure magic based ones. So I'm going to have to fucking do some research on some of these uh, Dark Espers. Because, yeah, the game definitely needs more of that. I think they've covered missiles uh, pretty well. Having uh, Brachio, you got uh, Tetrasilphid. You got, um, I mean, if you, you need to, you can go with um, Coral. What else is in the game? For Missile, um, the Chocobo. So at least you have like some options like missile evasion, pure, you know, damage. Um, Chocobo has like a heal on it. Hmm. But yeah, they need one for, I would imagine, like magic missile at this point uh, for Jaden and for Rugia. Hmm. But yeah, definitely need more strike ones. Because evasion. Evasion probably needs, like, one more Esper, I would imagine. But I feel like it's it's to a point where everybody needs at least access to, like, four different Espers. One that's cost, you know, uh, friendly or whatever for those uh, situations. And that's it. Missile Strike Espers are all on MR. No, you got missile that are, um, you are. Like I said, Brachio, uh, Tetrasilphid. They're both missile. As far as I know, I think Strike only has, like, I, I could be mistaken, but I think they only have, like, one Esper. That um snake woman, Medusa bitch. <laughs> I don't I don't know what the fuck her name is.
Okay, that should be it. Hopefully, I think. It feels like I've played this five times for sure. Okay, there we go. All right, last uh, set, and then I'm uh, probably go ahead and call it. Cause yeah, I gotta eventually work on this Bradley fucking video sometime. Try to get it out uh, to later today. If not, fucking go to sleep and. Uh, drop it like later on tonight it's hard to believe it's already fucking tuesday does it not feel like these weeks have been going by like really fucking fast maybe it's just me but it definitely feels that way Oh, that's kind of lame. I mean, at least there's some strike resist in there. But yeah, I, I don't know. That's, I don't understand why they made it like that. And I probably would have wanted it to have, like, accuracy over the crit rate. While I'm waiting, I did want to look at, go to Esper's. So Dark Tetra Sylph, it's going to be Pierce on the JP side. What the hell is this thing? Demon Killer. Accuracy, slash attack. I don't even know what the hell that thing is. Uh, later. I think this is like, not Leviathan, I forgot. It's like Final Fantasy VI Esper. Slash attack. <laughs> That's crazy. Dark attack, defense, increased defense, light killer. Strike resist. So this is just a defensive one. And then Dark Golem is just a defensive one as well, like a magic defensive one. Dark Bob Moot is a attack, slash attack. Dark Gifrit, slash attack. Uh, Ramu or Rama is just pure magic. No, that was Dark Shiva. Dark Shiva is slash or uh, whatever the fuck I said. Um, no, they're both Pierce. Okay, never mind. Yeah, Shiva's Pierce and so is um, Shiva. I mean, um, Tetra Sylphid's Pierce and so is Shiva. That's pretty bad.
so yeah, that's I don't understand why are they doing that? It's like damn man. Is that all that's in the game? That's insanity. So pretty much on the JP side, there's not even oh fuck. That's misfortunate. I have to remember I have to do this shit fucking three times. That's really annoying. But yeah, like I said, I didn't see any missile, any uh, slash. But at least I guess there's going to be like Two more Pierce, well, one more Pierce unit, because I think Sheep is the only one that we don't have. We already have uh, Tetrasilphid. And then everything else is going to be Magic Attack and um, Slash. Mainly a lot of Slash, Dark Golem, all that other crap. There were, like, like I said, the Final Fantasy V Esper. I'm not really familiar with what that thing is called. But the Purple Dragon. And... Uh, this other one I'm not really familiar with. I don't know what the hell it's from. But it's going to be pretty much like a defensive one. I don't even think I have any lightning units set up on this. Ice, earth. Who the fuck? <laughs> who the fuck else am I thinking of? Uh, Cause I'm gonna have to swap you out. Cause I don't, I don't think there's anybody I can really go into. That's not gonna need AP, so I can lazily play this shit. It'll be alright. I just don't want to have to fucking do the AP thing every single time. Even if it's only like two more times. It's still annoying. You know what? I could go with Fina. I would have to change my cards around. I'm lazy, dude. I don't I don't want to do all that shit. <laughs> Not right now. Now that I'm looking at it, I may end up dying anyway. Yep. Oh well. I guess I'll just move it back to Sephiroth. He can just slap people with his fucking sword. I really don't care. Yeah, with everything else that's tied to it, I would have to say it's definitely pretty good. Septine Agility is not that bad. But yeah, the, um, like I said, mainly that accuracy. Sildra. Kind of reminds me of um, Lapras. <laughs> Just a little bit. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to move back to fucking Sephiroth. Fine by me. I think we should be able to clear it regardless. Just burn through all that delicious AP. Seth, you good, man? Okay, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to die again. It's fine. No, it's not. I need to be useful. There's still a lot of units down here. Ah, fuck it. It's too late. Just do whatever. <laughs> Y'all got this, I believe in you. I'm sorry for being lazy. <laughs> Oh, well, that worked out. Perfect. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll definitely try to stream later on tonight when uh, the reset comes. And that way we can all um, bask in the Addison Rayness together. <laughs> Fuck it up. Um, Get my first impression on the unit and shit like that. But yeah, definitely happy to uh, be done with the multi shit. Nah, bro, I'm not farming this shit. <laughs> I'm not farming multi. That shit is so boring. The only way I will ever farm multi is for um, whenever they're doing that crap where you can get like the medals and get like the really good equipment and stuff. I forgot what the hell that shit's called. But um, yeah, that shit's not fun. And, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to skip the card. I don't know. We'll cover that shit. I don't even want to, like, dwell on it any longer than I have to. I got a video I need to work on after I take a fat little break. But, um, yeah, like I said, we'll go into it. When the time arises, it's like 1 a.m., so I'm going to go ahead and um, burn these out, I guess. No, don't. <laughs> Thank God. I was like, I think I clicked on party formation. But yeah, the game still needs some quality of life stuff. There's a couple of things I really wish they would change. Like the ticket thing is maybe one of them. The um, statue thing is definitely another thing that can kind of be annoying as well. I don't think this is as big of a deal. Uh, replenishing, like having to like, you know, do a certain um, number or whatever the fuck. Cause it, at least it reacts pretty fast. 
But, um... What else am I missing? I don't know. Like I said, I'll, I'll look at all that crap tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, try to have a good night. Something to definitely, like I said, look out for. I mentioned it in the previous stream when I was playing Outer Plane. I don't know, like, what's going on, like, on a, you know, country or continent basis or whatever. But I heard that there's, like, kind of like a, like a rabies outbreak or something like that. So, once again, I'll say it here. Be careful, uh, you know, like I said, whether you're going to your car, you know, taking out the trash late at night or whatever. Just kind of try to be aware of your surroundings and stuff. Because, uh, yeah, rabies is no joke. Um, I definitely, you know, want no part to that. And I don't want to hear anybody, you know, getting attacked or getting sick or anything. But, you know, definitely, you know, be aware of your surroundings. Uh, look out for your children, your kids, um, you know, whatever. Make sure that they're playing in a safe environment. Yeah, man, um, there was like a video that I saw. It was like a little girl that had just got off, um, like maybe like from school or something. And she was at her front door and she got attacked by a fucking um, raccoon that had like rabies or whatever. It was like going for her leg and stuff like that. And she was it was horrible, man. She was just like crying and screaming for her mom. And luckily, her mom came out really fast, grabbed the thing by the back of its neck. Uh, got it off of her kid, told her kid to go into the uh, room before she, you know, released it. And, you know, it was really smart that she grabbed it by the back of its neck because it was it couldn't do anything, you know, but you have to be careful for it scratching you as well. But, um, yeah, she had it, you know, got her kid um, in the house and stuff like that. And then she fucking uh, yeeted that motherfucker, you know, into the room and she ran into the house afterwards or whatever. So. Yeah, just something to, you know, kind of just keep an eye out for. Definitely be careful. I don't know if it's just like in America or what. But yeah, like I said, rabies is no joke. So just, you know, be careful with that. Because these animals are definitely getting aggressive. And um, that it was it was scary, man. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that little girl is probably going to be traumatized for the rest of her life. Like, it's not it's not funny. Like, looking back now, like, you know, knowing that she's safe and all that stuff. Like, yeah, you can laugh at it like now, but... I'm pretty sure she's probably going to be traumatized. And, um, yeah, like I said, you definitely don't want to get those shots because I heard you have to get like eight shots in your stomach or something crazy. I don't know. I want no parts of it. You said you saw that video in February. It's still going on. Yeah, it was like, uh, I think she was wearing like pink or something. I, I just now even saw the video. So maybe somebody like may have re-uploaded it or something just to kind of like spread that awareness. Because I, I heard nothing about rabies up until, like, that point. But, yeah, I heard it's still going on. So, definitely something to kind of just, you know, just be careful. Uh, going underneath your car. Uh, because I know, like, animals like to hide underneath, like, you know, behind tires and stuff like that. Uh, stray cats. Uh, stray dogs. Any of that shit. Because, this like I said, you know, rabies definitely makes animals aggressive. And, um, yeah, that, they'll, they'll probably try and kill you. <laughs> so, like I said, luckily... Thank God, like I said, you know, in her case, it was a raccoon and not like, you know, a big dog or something that could, you know, try and take her down. I don't know if she got bit or anything, but, you know, happy to see that, you know, she's still OK. And the mom reacted really fast. That was something else that was just really important. I think the reaction time is something that probably, you know, saved her from getting like injured, like seriously. So, yeah, definitely, man, for sure. Luckily, I, I just have to look out for myself. I don't have kids. <laughs> it's not, a, you know, an issue for me. But, um, yeah, definitely for people who do have kids, you know, make sure they're playing in a safe area. You know, like, I know, like, some kids like to go out to the fields or um, be in, like, those little areas where there's, like, a lot of trees because squirrels also can have them. You know, just, just be safe for sure. But, yeah, like I said, enough of that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And um, I'll see you guys later tonight on Wednesday. Take it easy.